This is the portico of Atavia. Let's take a closer look. This has a great history. It goes back in the second century BC. It's the portico of Metellus. That's rebuilt in the Augustan age and becomes known as the portico of Octavia, that is the sister of the Emperor Augustus. Then it's rebuilt, as the inscription says, after a fire in the reign of Septimius Severus. And here it stands, 1,700 years old, and becomes a fixture in the Jewish ghetto in the Renaissance times. It's been recently restored and it's located here in what we would call in antiquity the Circus Flaminius. And it's in this area that you have the staging ground for many generals waiting to be awarded a triumph, including the Emperor Vespasian. One of the great features of the Porticus of Octavia in the Severn Age is that when you look up on the inside here, you can actually see some reused marble column drums that wouldn't have been visible in antiquity because of the uh, roof uh, made of wood, but now exposed as such, you can see that there's a lot of recycled history, a lot of marble is reused in this great third century structure. Beyond the imperial period, this structure has a long life. And you can see here that the open colonnade of the portico is filled in with reused materials, brick, stone, marble. And when it's part of the Jewish ghetto, it's the famous fish market. Columns of the Portics of Octavia extend all the way up to the edge of the Theater of Marcellus. So in the time of Augustus, you really have the placement here of a number of dynastic monuments. Marcellus, the deceased nephew of Augustus. Octavia, the sister of Augustus. And it just gives you an idea of the close proximity of one major monument close to another. It was a really, really crowded environment, and right through this space, you'd have the triumphant general and his entourage, his soldiers, spoils of war, passing through here on a triumph.